हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड इजी स्टेप टू इंग्लिश ग्रामर एंड फ्रॉम माय एक्सपीरियंस आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू स्पीक इंग्लिश हाउ टू स्पीक इंग्लिश बिकॉज स्पोकन इंग्लिश or business english is quite different from writing english however much has been said about how to learn english for speaking as well as writing some say that the learners should learn grammar first and then they should write or speak english it is anglo bengali method or any method whose mother tongue is not english i am speaking of those whose mother tongue is not english remember it first let us discuss about communicative english communicative english because in every sphere of life in every aspect of life you will have to speak english because english has been accepted as an international language for buying and selling commodities for business for medical field and treatment and what not engineering that is science and technology everywhere there is english without english we can't go ahead okay however is spoken english you need not or whether in the field of spoken english i advise you not to stumble not to stumble not to stammer because you will have to communicate yourself in english and it may not follow the grammatical rules that means grammarians funeral has been done clear now let us take an example to substantiate to prove my words that speaking english always did not follow the die hard rules of grammar while speaking english grammar will follow you remember it okay let us start suppose it is a brief conversation between rick and dick rick and dick for example rick hello dick bus is running late today bus is running late today that means bus is running running late today so auxiliary verb can be omitted in spoken english clear why dick an accident it occurred at 8 am that means it is due to an accident that has occurred at 8 am and dick is replying an accident it occurred at 8 am rick accident where that means where did the accident occur 
where is the place on which or where is the spot on which the accident has occurred but the person concerned is not answering in full sentences following grammar accident where on nh 34 that is national highway 34 that means the accident has occurred on nh 34 rick any casualty casualty means has anybody died on the spot or how many persons are injured or wounded these persons are called casualties any casualty yes it's a hidden collision between a bus and a lorry hidden collision between a bus and a lorry five dead on the spot the wounded shifted to hospital the wounded shifted to hospital you see that in speaking english or spoken english we are not following the rules of grammar just we are communicating our ideas our thoughts etc to each other without following the basic rules of grammar clear yes nowadays dick is saying yes nowadays accidents are occurring frequently it's all due to reckless driving it's all due to reckless driving rick yes drivers are also absent-minded while driving they talk over phone tip okay i know it they play with the with the lives of the passengers of the innocent passengers and that's why accidents occur okay let's work because we will be left for school that's the end of our dialogue that's the end of the conversation then how many grammars how many grammatical rules have i followed while making this conversation i have selected two characters rick and dick and it is about reckless driving it's a short dialogue and you see that where there is necessary necessity i have used grammar and in most of the cases i have not used any grammar so in today's world or nowadays in business english in medical science that is medical representative english everywhere people do not follow the grammatical rules because if they want to follow the grammatical rules rigidly they will certainly stammer they will certainly stumble and they won't be able to communicate their ideas their thoughts etc to the person concerned so you should not be worried speak english fluently oh i forget to say that in order to speak english you should go through the english newspapers daily i advise you to go through the english newspapers daily so that you may enrich your vocabulary you may enrich your vocabulary you may enrich your construction you may enrich your 
tidbits of grammar. That's all. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, to like, to comment. And if this video comes to your benefit, don't forget to subscribe my channel so that I may be enthused or encouraged to appear before you with more grammatical items. Thanking all of you. Good night.